Now, when we talk about diversity issues, we also need to talk about that the demographics in Nebraska are changing, and they're changing quickly, and I think for the good. And we're seeing many more communities of color move into our state, but we're not seeing them in elective office. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think, I think there's similar issues. And um, I think that part of the problem is we don't have many people of color um, in elected office today. And so a lot of young people especially aren't seeing that possibility for them. And so we need to open those doors for those folks. I think we're doing that. We're leading the way through our constituency caucuses uh, at the state party. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's offering an opportunity for people of diverse backgrounds to come together and talk about the issues that are unique to that community mm -hmm. and then support candidates or potential candidates. We need to encourage people of color and other minorities to become involved not only as elected officials but in leadership roles uh, in our party. And uh, we're beginning to do that more and more. And we're looking for more and more women and people of color and other minorities to lead, lead the charge and lead the party. I hope that uh, our next state chair is a woman. I hope that we have more and more leaders in our party that come from diverse backgrounds and we encourage that. Mm -hmm. And as we uh, go and talk about Nebraska, we can never forget who we are and what we are. We are an agricultural state. What is the Democratic Party doing for ag interests and, and issues? This is going to probably surprise you, but I'm going to tell you we're not doing enough. Uh -huh. uh, and that's the honest truth and we need to do more. Um, one of the advantages of the 50 state strategy and our 93 county strategy, and let me talk a little bit about both. Uh, the 50 state strategy is, is our national program that really encourages us to play in all states, whether they're red or blue or purple or green. Um, we, we need to have a presence and we need to ask for every vote. And we're doing that in Nebraska in all 93 counties. We're building county organizations in counties that have very rarely had a presence from Democrats. Uh, and so we have someone based in the 3rd District who lives out of the 3rd District and works out of the 3rd District, field organizer Dave Wolf, who's uh, working on that every day, finding new county chairs and trying to encourage uh, a new county party organization in a lot of places. Uh, let me give you an example. Cherry County probably hasn't had a county chair for many, many years. So. We're really looking at those. We also have to remember that rural areas in the state are not all located in the third congressional district. There's a lot of rural areas in the first district. There's some rural areas in the second even. So we need to look at that on a statewide level and not forget folks that live in Falls City and other places in the state that, that are not in the third district. Um, and so we need, to, we need to cultivate that and uh, continue to look for, for leaders like Matt Keneally. Matt, Matt's addition to our staff has done a tremendous uh, amount to um, allow us to reach out to rural communities. Um, and he's out in, in, in rural areas talking to folks all the time. And Matt's a farmer. Matt's a farmer. And, uh, you know, he's, he lives in Decatur full time and uh, has an apartment here in Lincoln when he's here down in the week, mm -hmm. during the week working. And, and so uh, he's very much in touch with that whole community. That really makes me happy that he's a farmer and he's a leader of our party. I, I come from farming roots and I think that that is really, really important that we get leadership that comes from small farmers because it's a perspective that we desperately need. We really do. Absolutely. And we need, you know, if you look at Montana and the success of people like John Tester, yeah. um, you know, we need to find our John Testers of the world. Matt Keneally is that kind of person. We need to find others. Good. Well, I want to thank you for coming, and I'm going to go and encourage everyone that's viewing this to get involved. Come to the Lancaster County Democrats. We have uh, monthly meetings every third Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. at the Communication Workers of uh, America Union Hall at 25th and N Streets. And there you'll get to meet lots of interesting people with just a variety of issues and opinions, and you'll get to experience and be involved with the free marketplace of ideas, get to volunteer for quality Democratic candidates, 
meet people like Eric Fott, and we're so lucky in this state to have such a professional help lead us in getting our message out. So we really encourage you to come on down. And Eric, do you have any closing thoughts? The only thing I would say is we need everyone to help us. We need to all stand up. We need to go door to door. We need to share the values that we share with other people and our neighbors and really, uh, really turn up uh, the heat and uh, get everyone involved. Great. Thank you, you for coming. Thanks, Barb.